After two weeks in South Korea, we headed to the airport to board the plane for our next destination, Hong Kong. Okay, so we worked out the train is going to be about £18.50 each for our return trip, which we might end up doing because it's quite good value. But we don't know how much the bus is yet, so we're going to go outside and find out how much the bus is first and then make a decision. Um, yeah, we might end up doing the train. It means two buses. You've got to go to the bus terminal and then into town um, from this terminal. So yeah, I don't know yet. We'll find out. Okay, so we're opting for the train. We didn't actually even look at the bus. We're just just can't cope with the sweat fest right now so we're going to go with the train it's the quickest option so it'll be really nice and easy so yeah we're going to go for the 185 round trip to Kowloon this is kind of near where we're staying so yeah should be easy <laughs> missed it by like five seconds <laughs> oh. but on the plus side it was actually cheaper to get a group of two ticket, so we got a single journey for 150. Just £7 £7 each. Yeah, seven pound fifty each, each way. Now we've got to wait for the next one. I don't know how often they come. I think they're quite frequent. Oh, are they? Okay. That doesn't matter then. right in the centre of this area which is Kowloon um, and yeah this is our room this is the grand tour I don't have a wide enough lens <laughs> we don't have a wide enough lens give the GoPro so we've got a bed here which I swear that's shorter than a normal bed well it's a good job we're not tall then aren't we? yeah it's a good job we're not seven feet because it's edge to edge but and we've literally got I would say a metre here yeah about a metre and then but we have got a kettle a hairdryer and mm. then I can't actually get past you no, I've got to, walk to yeah well hang on let's hang on go, go down there hang on okay and then this is the bathroom which is surprisingly spacious it's quite big compared to the size of the bedroom so yeah we're here for seven nights yes so we're gonna get cozy we might use the Shall bathroom I? for some storage I think so <laughs> But no, it's fine. And we're very central. There's a lot going on just downstairs. Yeah, I actually quite like it. It's cosy. But the um, the reception is literally right there. Mm. Like, you you check in and the door is right there. So like, his desk, he could probably reach out and touch our door. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too noisy. We'll see. But yeah. I think... Let's go get some local food. Yeah, we're going to go out this way. Oh yes, but we're just going to get just as sweaty. <laughs> Embrace the sweat. Yeah, it's very hot. It's like Bangkok weather. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's humid, it's hot, it's sticky. But yeah, let's go get some food. We've got some. We've got an awesome night market literally like over the road. Yeah, looks really and, cool. And uh, I fancy a cold beer. Yes, let's go. <laughs> okay, so we made it to Max Man Key noodle shop. He like pointed to the menu and said, very good. So I was like, okay. And Lorna got some beef brisket noodle as well. So I got like a shrimp, she's got new, uh, beef. Um, yeah, it was really, really popular though. Like, I was like, queued to get in the door. Ooh. I've lost some of my chopsticks. <laughs> yeah, the beef is really good. It's really tender and just, just so nice to have noodles again. Yeah, they're really skinny little noodles, really tender beef. And yeah, pretty good. We just finished up with food that was super fast, so, so, so fast. And it only cost 74, which is basically £7.40 for the two dishes. So it was so good and so cheap, which is a win. And now we're going to head over the road to the night market and see if we can get a few other little bits. And um, yeah, just have a little bit. Good morning. 
morning. From Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> so we got here a couple of days ago. It was my birthday the day before yesterday. Yeah, it's gone quick. Um, so we just ate a lot of food and wandered around. We haven't done anything touristy yet. So today we are heading to Victoria Peak first. Um, so yeah, we're going to go see the viewpoint. Yeah, back on the tube, which is really cheap. So yeah, let's yeah, get going. Let's go. <laughs> Hiking uphill in this heat is just pretty sickening. So we're going to see if there's an other, a different way to get there that doesn't involve hiking and passing out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I think we decided we're going to hike because the bus is like a half an hour bus, then a half an hour walk, or it's like an hour and twenty minute walk. So I think we're going to hike it. Basically, we're going to get a free workout and we're going <laughs> to sweat through everything. This is probably the hottest one we've had for a while, so yeah, it's gonna be sweaty. It's like over 30 and humid, but yeah, we're gonna make our way up there and hopefully it'll be okay. I mean, we're just gonna follow the map. Follow the map, what can go wrong, <laughs> right? <laughs> It's sweaty. We are climbing. We know we're going the right way now. We've seen signs, so we know oh. what we're doing, kind of. Um, but yeah, it's literally alongside the tram tracks. Yeah, so we um, saw the tram that's like just stand still, not moving. And we're next to the tracks. And look and at what we're about to deal with. Oh, that's gross. Yeah, this reminds me of Big Buddha in um, Phuket. Do you know how sweaty that was? Oh, yeah, the sweat level, yeah. <laughs> Is it the first time we've seen? Oh, that is the first time we've seen it in a while. We went the wrong way, but somehow we've ended up at a point where we can now go the right way. Not I don't know. That. We didn't go the wrong way. <laughs> we went the way that both maps said, and then there was no signage anywhere, so we must have turned off somewhere wrong. I don't know. I don't know what we did wrong, but apparently it's oh. half an hour from here, so let's hope it actually is. I'm so soaked through. <laughs> I am very it's wrong. ridiculous. This, in my opinion, is not a beginner friendly hike. <laughs> it is so steep, you're like lunging uphill. We are just a nightmare. Heart oh, is going like crazy. But yeah, I think maybe 20 more minutes. We've been walking now for an hour and 10, nearly 3K. So <sighs> fingers crossed we get there in a minute. <laughs> comes to anyway the tram stop um, and it's so built up up here I wasn't really expecting that there's like a Gordon Ramsay restaurant here like it's a bit crazy and there's like a roof observation like deck but with we assume you've got to pay to go up there we're not certain but I really would have thought so um, but yeah, it's amazing up here and it's so strange because it's raining down on the water there but it's not raining up here <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So after a little pit stop to get an iced coffee, we are now heading to Victoria Peak Gardens, which looks like it has a really cool viewpoint, but it's more uphill. So it's another, kil another kilometre. I didn't know that. <laughs> Tricked me into this. So another kilometre uphill. Yeah, so it better be good. Okay, we've made it up to the park. It is absolutely gorgeous up here and we feel like we're going to see a really cool viewpoint from the end here. It took like 20 minutes, so what's another 20 minutes now? <laughs> when you're soaked through already, it doesn't yeah, matter, does it? It doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
Kaolin. To Kowloon. Oh, okay. oh. So, fingers crossed the rain holds off because it feels like it's going to rain any minute. And uh, yeah, we need more water. Definitely. Because we're dripping. We've basically sweat this much. Yeah. <laughs> Under us. Yeah.